Um, well, basically, I was in um, the Harville Road um, in then Denim. Denim. And it was a uh, gate three of the HS2 Limited. Is that Oxbridge? No, I think it's Harville. Okay. Um, HS2 yeah. gate three. Yeah. Okay. How can I help? And so basically, I was um, involved in a um, peaceful protest earlier. Yeah. Um, where we had a banner and we yeah. sat um, away from private property where the gate was um, and just blocked the entrance way where the um, it was a public highway and we sat there um, and they said that they were going to call the police um, but they didn't call the police they decided to say that they could um, move us by force um, but then um, security working at the HS2 site. How many of them? And there was about 10 or 15 of them. So what assault did take? What happened exactly? So as we were sat down, the, um, they went behind each of us in turn um, and um, one person per person. Um, and I myself um, was um, glued, my, my hand was glued to the floor as part of my protest. Uh, my hand was glued okay. to the floor. and. Um, I said to the guy behind me, you're about to take me away, um, my, my hand is glued to the floor, you can't move me, it's unsafe. Yeah. Um, but they dragged us away, my hand got ripped from the pavement. Um, so I lost some of my uh, skin there with that. Um, and meanwhile my um, fellow protesters were dragged away. Um, some shirtless, they just took their shirts off and dragged them onto the concrete. And just swooped in, dragging us, you know, dragging women, men, like young people, all of us. So they were all assaulted, but my assault had the most amount of injury. When was this? Uh, it was about um, ten, nine o'clock this morning. And basically- Why did you call them night after it happened? Because uh, we were all in a bit of a state of shock. Um, we also needed yeah. to get away. So we all returned back to the camp.